and welcome to Eat Fresh Live Fresh. He's Abana. I make videos about plant-based living and natural lifestyle. And today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the health benefits of thyme oil. Before we do get into the video, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I do post up videos. We are doing 30 videos in 30 days, and today is day 25. I'll leave a link below for the playlist so that you can check out the other videos in the series. So let's get into it a bit. Okay, so uh, you're probably familiar with thyme's use as a herb or food seasoning. In addition to livening up the flavour of food, the thyme plant, which is um, scientifically known as thymus vulgaris, is also the source of thyme essential oil. Thyme oil has antifungal, anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. It's commonly used as a preservative in foods, cosmetics and toiletries, and it can also be found as an ingredient in some mouthwashes. Um, thyme oils uses and benefits there are several studies that support thyme's essential oils ability to reduce or eliminate foodborne bacteria support heart health and alleviate inflammation in the body among other benefits but before you go out and buy a bottle it's important to realize that there's no indication that thyme oil used on its own will cure any specific disease while more research is needed, thyme oil is currently thought to be beneficial when used as part of overall therapeutic programs, not as a solo treatment or cure. Thyme oil contains several compounds that health, have a lot of health benefits. And these compounds include um, carvacrol, thymol, linalool, cineol, camphor and borneol. So next up, let's look at how these compounds are beneficial for different uses of thyme oil. First up, um, it can be used for acne. There's some evidence that thyme oil is effective at reducing acne causing bacteria on the skin. An animal study that found com um, that compared thyme oil to oregano oil found that both were able to eliminate bacteria, but that oregano oil was more effective. So next up, um, it can be used for alopecia areata. Thyme oil mixed with other essential oils and carrier and the carrier oil coupled with massage may be used as a treatment to prevent hair loss. Currently, there's little data indicating whether or not thyme oil is effective for this condition, although anecdotal evidence indicates that a combination of essential oils that includes thyme oil may be an effective treatment. One recent preliminary study found that wild thyme extract extract may eventually show promise at fighting breast cancer next up we have coughs and respiratory tract infections the thymol content in thyme is thought to have antipasmodic properties when mixed with primrose thyme essential oil has been shown to be effective at reducing coughs and reducing the duration of respiratory tract infections such as the common cold so next um it can be used as a food preservative. In a study reported in the Journal of Medicine and Life, thyme oil was found to be effective at eliminating food-related bacteria and fungi. Thyme and thyme oil have been found to have antibacterial effects against bacterium, including Salmonella and um, Helicobacter pylori bacteria. Next up, we have heart disease. Um, a 2010 laboratory study published in the Journal of Lipid Research found that the carbocrol in thyme oil was, effective, was an effective anti-inflammatory agent with cardioprotective capabilities, making it potentially beneficial for people with heart disease. So next up we have oral health. Thyme oil's anti-inflammatory effects have been documented in several studies. The thyme oil in thyme oil is effective at reducing inflammation and infection. According to recent research, thyme oil's anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties make it beneficial for oral health. The compound is an ingredient in several dental products including Listerine, Cormint and mouthwash. Um, so here are some of the side effects of thyme oil. If you have an allergy to mint, you may also be allergic to thyme and thyme oil. Adverse reactions to thyme oil have included allergic reactions ranging from contact dermatitis to hay fever symptoms, dizziness, conjunctivitis, headache, asthma, muscle weakness and gastrointestinal irritation and distress. Thyme oil shouldn't be swallowed or used undiluted on your skin. Talk to your doctor before using thyme oil, especially if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Children shouldn't be given thyme oil at all. And when diffusing essential oils, consider children and pets who may react to the oil. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please do subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I do post up videos. Like I said, this is day 25 of my 30 videos in 30 days. So please do check the link below for the playlist of the 30 videos um, in the series. Also, I've got a book out called Delve, My Heartfelt Notes on Delving Deep and Climbing Higher, which is a personal development book. Also, I have a podcast. Um, the podcast isn't connected to this channel, though. It is my other channel, Abana Talks, which is about entrepreneurship, self-improvement and Africa. So if you're interested in that, please do check the link out below for the podcast and follow along. Bye.